back up. An Army veteran says he was attacked while floating on the Illinois River. Ron Williamson ended up in the hospital for five days. News on 6's Taylor Newcomb is on the story that you'll only see on 6. Taylor? Craig and Terry Williamson tells me two men attacked him as he tried to pick up a piece of trash. But a woman floating with those men says Williamson threw the first punch, hitting her. I have a concussion. My uh, left pupil is blown out. I have blood in my eye. I had a broke nose. Army veteran Ron Williamson says he was celebrating his 29th birthday last month. We were just floating, you know, we're just having a good time. He says the whole thing is hazy, but he does remember hearing some people on the shore hollering at his group. They're yelling at us about littering and. Eventually, Williamson says he hopped out of his raft to grab a bag of chips floating in the river. By the time I turned around, there's a couple individuals charging me. Everything kind of went black for a second. The other side of the story is quite different. Candace Walker was in the same group as the two men who were arrested, Timothy and Tabrius Wilson. Walker says Williamson became verbally aggressive when someone in her group jokingly told them to hurry up their raft. Walker says Williamson got out of his raft, prompting Tabrius to do the same. She says she got out to try to explain it was a miscommunication. Walker says Williamson looked at her for a couple seconds and then punched her in the face. That's when she she says the fight broke out. GRDA's report says officers did not make any arrests until they received a video showing Tabrius started the fight. Walker says she plans to press charges against Williamson. The Wilson brothers were arrested for aggravated assault and battery. They bonded out the same day. Taylor Newcomb, News on 6. More witnesses are